good news. Uh, the IRS <laughs> misplaced millions of taxpayer records. All right. That Again. is a real shame. Again. I'm sorry to hear that. Wow. Uh, holy cow. How do you misplace millions of records like that? Because you're the federal government and you suck at everything. The this is uh this is was sent by the Fresno Tax Processing Center to the Kansas City Tax Processing Center. The IRS was unable to locate any of the fiscal year 2010 microfilm cartridges that should have been sent from Fresno Tax Processing Center to the Kansas City Processing Center. Oh, that's according to uh, U.S. Treasury Inspector General, actually, for Tax Administration. Now, if your if your title is that long, <laughs> that position shouldn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> That's just a rule of mine. Uh, as a result of the lack of adequate inventory controls, the IRS cannot account for thousands of microfilm cartridges cool. containing millions of sensitive business and individual tax account records. Hmm. That's, that's, that's bad. Um, because, no, uh, <laughs> well, given the bait, the information in those records represents for criminals inclined to commit tax refund fraud, identity theft, <clears throat> As the report goes on to warn, you could omit the tax refund part since the details uh, were required to submit to the IRS could enable scammers to rob them blind in a host of ways that don't matter to the government but are extremely serious to anybody on the receiving yeah. end. Okay, so that's your that's your problem if you're so, the American people, but don't worry about it. Scammers, IRS agents, tomato, tomato. Don't, don't ours... I think in Texas it goes to the Ogden, Utah processing place, right? When I pay, I have to send it to Austin. Austin, really? Mm. Mm. Uh, let's see, at the Ogden, Utah tax processing, processing center, we received seven empty boxes with a note stating, sent for reform it 4113. Each box holds 24 cartridges, meaning as many as 168 cartridges may have been sent for <laughs> reformatting. And they don't have them. They don't know where they are. Yeah. Eh, don't worry about it. I mean, this goes on and on and yeah. on about the incompetence at the IRS, uh, which is uh, amazing. Yesterday, I was watching this documentary. It really didn't have anything to do. It was about steroids in uh, sports, and uh, it's an untold documentary. And uh, it was fascinating because there was an IRS agent named Jeff Nowitzki that... Uh, he told the story of how he became and why he became an IRS agent. Hmm. He saw an ad. This was some time ago, probably 20, small, 30 years ago. <laughs> a small classified yeah. ad. Right. <laughs> that somebody had written from their <laughs> tiny one-bedroom apartment <laughs> telling me I could make this money month after month after month <laughs> just placing tiny classified ads. So what did this thing say? So the ad from the IRS said, become an accountant with a gun. Oh. Oh, oh. Well, there's our favorite thing. The IRS yeah, agents weaponized. Come on. have guns. And the, this isn't a new thing. They've had guns for a yes, long time. Why? Why do you need them? Well, they say, they claim that they have, that they're special investigators, right, mm. that go out. And mm. uh, there's they, they go out and they <laughs> confront people. Yes. So that they need to be uh, armed for yeah. protection. Yeah. Right? Well, I I'm, I was under the impression that that's what if you were an, an IRS agent and you were going to go confront someone who you know is violent, would, uh, like you would suspect the is. FBI with you. You would think, right? yeah, yeah. That's what they're for. But apparently not. That's not the way it goes. Mm -hmm. So this guy started out. He decided that he was gonna that he was gonna go after Victor Conti. You know, from uh, Balco. You remember the whole Balco thing? Yeah. They were the ones that supplied supposedly Barry Bonds with yeah. steroids and, and many others. I mean, many a lot of Olympic athletes and stuff got their steroids from Balco. So uh, this guy was told when he got to the IRS, hey, don't wait for things to come to you. Go looking for things. Oh, no. So he did. And so he, thought, he did? You know what? Balco's located just um, about a mile from me. So I'm gonna, I'll stop I'm gonna look into them. I'm gonna look into it. He started going through their garbage every night. They would take out the garbage. He'd be waiting for it at midnight, 
and he'd pick up uh, Balco's garbage and throw it in the I back of so his I'm so happy trunk. he took the initiative. How is that legal? I mm-hmm. mean, don't you need a reason to be doing that to people, to American citizens? Well, they've already decided, right, that if you... Yeah, I don't if like it's that. The, if it's in, I don't either, but I'm just yep. saying they've already You're decided, right. right, if you put it in the trash, mm-hmm. then it's, then it's open theirs. territory. Right? I, I guess, but that shouldn't be the case, No, it should shouldn't. It? No, it shouldn't. So anyway, Victor, it was kind of interesting because Victor Conti... Uh, who had no problem narking on everybody else he supplied with roids, said he never provided or witnessed Barry Bonds with steroids. Isn't that interesting? Because I thought that's where, that's what the whole whole thing was. was. Well, he's involved with Victor Conti, and that's all he does. Well, not according to him. Right. He provided him with supplements, he admits. Um, And then toward the end of the episode, he's asked if he thinks Bonds did use any steroids. And he says yes, but he doesn't have any proof of it. He's got no evidence of it, but he guesses that he did. But regardless, I don't think he ever failed a blood test. Did he ever fail a test? That I don't know. I don't know that. Um, but here's the all-time leader in home runs for the major for banned. Major League Baseball. Pretty much just banned. Have he, a nice day. I 298, lifetime hitter. Very near 300 lifetime hitter. And he's not in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. So, yeah, it's for one reason because so they suspect this makes roid sense usage. Now this makes sense because when that thing was happening twenty years ago, uh-huh. I was asking myself at the time, why the hell is the federal why is the government, government involved? involved? Thank in you. Baseball that was the other thing. And what's yeah. going on in that league? Going through that my d- mind the whole show. Here we go, and here we have the yep. reason. Because because a guy who wanted a job crunching numbers while having a, a sidearm mm-hmm. decided to dig through trash that was a right. mile from his house. So that's an ad your of federal those government. Damn classified yep. advertisements. <laughs> I swear this it, government sucks. And by the way, is giving steroids to athletes even a crime? I don't think it was at this time. No, that wasn't a baseball. It was banned thing. in baseball. Yes. You know, mm. in what, nineteen ninety one, I think they banned it finally. But it wasn't like yeah, is that illegal. a federal crime? Right. That's yeah. Right. If I took steroids today, would they come knocking on my well, only, probably for that and many other things. <laughs> that's why. That's why. I, that's did. why I stopped uh, yeah. shooting. Uh huh. Yeah. You know, that's why I got two jobs. You shouldn't have. Two you shouldn't have. Only if they dig through your garbage. All right. Yeah. That's the only way. Crazy though. Uh, the federal government should butt out of this kind of stuff. They got no business looking into steroids. Who cares?